people's absolute unselfishness. If someone has El Fukumi, they're going to spend El Fukumi on everyone around them. People just have to like open their hearts and my favorite crime in America is trespassing. I can't even do that here because everyone's like just carry boat. Walk through my door, go out in my backyard, come through my property. How welcoming people are, I would have to say is the best thing about Tanzania. How open the people are once they get to know you. Um, sort of the general chaotic nature of life here. So my favorite thing about Tanzania is the customer service. If you need a candle and you go to the Soko to a pineapple seller, they will go and fetch you a candle. The cute little children. I would have to say the children. I can do this. Um, everywhere I go, I feel like I learn new things. You can buy something and pay for it later. It's, everything is just so relaxed. You can kind of make your own rules. There aren't rules. It's great. Uh, being able to go on some pretty cool wildlife safaris. Uh, it's just it's such a nice spot to 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 be able to travel. Traveling. Diversity of, of the environment here. There's so many like different environments and so many cool places to visit and so many things to see. It's really easy to relax here. A oh, while well, like the weather because there's no because there's no winter here. People that I've met here, both in my village, a really good friend, and then obviously other Peace Corps volunteers. I can make fun of complete strangers and they can make fun of me and we can just laugh. You can just make things up as you go, especially traveling. If you just stand on the side of the road and do something like this, like something is going to happen. Dancing. I like the way people, the tendency of people to laugh. The way they laugh and they say something and it's just little things. They laugh and they slap each other's hands. It's the way that people slap each other's hands whenever they're laughing. Definitely want to bring that back to the States. I think my favorite thing about Tanzania is still that community spirit. Like people are still really happy to be together all the time. They're constantly saying hi. My least favorite thing uh, would be sitting with, sitting with somebody who we were all there experiencing the same thing, but then we continue to share stories about what just happened for about five minutes. That or tied in with the clicks, those kind of bug me. About Tanzania would be the lack of time management skills or understanding of time and schedules. But Mozambique's roads are just horrible. The general chaotic nature of life here. I'm riding on a really crowded dollar dollar with sweaty people. <laughs> Traveling. I hate getting on those buses for a long period of time. Uh, waiting in a car for a dollar to leave, even though they're just gonna pack it up with like 20 other people as soon as it hits the road. Transportation. God. Not being able to fit into bus seats. Least is transportation. Traveling in the rainy season. Dollar travel. Getting sat on by big mamas on the bus. Transportation. <laughs> Public transportation. Customer service. Umgahawa service with a smile, not. Peace Corps volunteers. Planning and organization. Least favorite thing about Tanzania, men. It's the way that people treat dogs. The men. Tanzania is people don't have a, a, a sense of schedule or time. Because the river's burning everything all the time. <laughs> Everything's on fire. I dislike a lot that people just tell you what you want to hear instead of just giving a straight up answer like, oh sure, well, Mbula, we'll come to your meeting, or like, oh yeah, the bus is going to get here, Sasa heaves, in 10 minutes. Jokes. That there aren't rules, that like, you can, <laughs> that people just sort of do what they want to do when they want to do it. My greatest strength would be my ability to go for it, kind of say yes. Not unsafe, but... <laughs> have an open mind to experiencing new things. Example is slaughtering a pig in the village or going on a strange hike. Being able to deprive myself of things. I would have to say my personality and just being happy and laughing all the time because Tanzanians love to make jokes. Pretty handy with a Maasai sword. Patience. My animal knowledge and ability to help volunteers with their pets. My willingness to learn and do new things and not care if I look like an idiot. <laughs> My writing. Yeah, I'd say like being chilled out constantly. This language I understand, uh, I understand well and I can communicate well. I have to be the ability to zone out on a bus ride because it can be mm -hmm. miserable. Definitely my ability to sleep on buses and my super strong stomach. My Kindle. Somehow staying motivated despite village apathy. 
I could stare at walls for quite a long time. I think it's my ability to laugh at anything. <laughs> and the parasite that has been living in me for months and months. Patience. Shabira's greatest strength is that she is a fantastic listener. My ability to relate to everyone in my village. I think my greatest strength is one-on-one -on -one contact and, and talking to people and, and um, demonstrating an actual concern or caring for somebody and they, they respond to that. I feel like I am very good with uh, integrating into the community. I think my greatest strength, I have to say, is language. I was surprised. Oh, like all through high school college, I was like, oh, I'm okay at language, but now that I'm here, I'm like, yeah, actually, this is good. <laughs> organization so I can get projects done and get my villagers motivated. I'm mad negotiation skills. I always get the Pungus of bay. I'm still working on that. Give me some time, I'll figure it out. <laughs> my greatest weakness is that I have become super sassy in this country. Now that I feel comfortable with the language, I do not hold back. And I just let people have it when I think they deserve it. Shyness, that I just do not want to go out and be the center of attention ever. Language. It's confusing. It took me like 12 years to learn English, and now I gotta learn Swahili. <laughs> greatest weakness is hot showers and potato chips. Language. I tend to joke around a lot, so some people may not take me seriously. My American goal mindset wanting to accomplish things and measure it and doing things all the time. And also my American stomach in a Tanzanian land. <laughs> my patience. <laughs> uh, probably my language. I'm not as patient as I should be. Fitting into bus seats, getting upset about it. Second guessing myself or feeling guilty about someone. I'm not doing enough, I'm not blah blah blah. And that just really eats away. Wine. That's my tribal language. My villagers just want me to know it and I just, it's a weakness. <laughs> Chips in my eye. I am, I have trouble focusing. I have a hard time understanding my identity. Probably my tendency to be embarrassed whenever I mess up. I require a certain amount of order and, and um, structure in my world. And the more, when that's established, without that, I'm frightened. <laughs> my patience with like, men and waiters and everyone. <laughs> uh, emotion control issues, like if something doesn't go well, it takes me a while to like rebound and reframe. I'll sometimes like go take a nap or feel bad about myself and then come back. Flashes of anger. At zero weaknesses, just strength. The best thing I started saying is Ndoto and Jema, which means sweet dreams. No one's like ever heard of that. And every time they hear it, they just like literally like stop and like, wow, way way pia. <laughs> See for how I said. Uh Umelewa. Labda Badai. Upo Ju. Nuna to sulk. Shanga. Niache buana. Abariza numbani. Hapana. Kwahiviu or hata. Mambo. Aksawa or poa. Jamani. Shamba. Kamakawa kamadawa. Aya. 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 Eh. Aya. Tisante and karibu. Akadjamani. I'm always saying fulani and kata all the time. I've learned that it is okay to, to fail. I don't ever want to live this far from the ocean again. I haven't changed a bit. I haven't matured. I haven't yeah, gotten healthy. I mean. I've learned that I can still learn things um, and that I can still be even more patient than I, ha than I thought I was. But I am far more self-absorbed than I ever before realized. I'm much more of an introvert than I thought I was, and finding a lone space is really hard here. I've noticed I'm more of an introvert than I thought, and uh, I'm very comfortable with being by myself. But I'm more introverted than I thought. Like, I'm generally a very social person. I like to be social a lot, but the constant need of being social, like in the Tanzanian village, has made me, like, really understand how much I actually like being alone. I thoroughly enjoy being single. I'm very comfortable being alone. Uh, this is something I'd like to do is develop my work in some form, maybe back in the States or maybe abroad. Um, contrary to my first interview, I've learned that I absolutely hate papaya. 
I don't know why I said it was my favorite fruit, but it's disgusting. I can survive in equatorial weather. What did I learn about myself? <laughs> learned that I'm better at picking up certain languages than I thought I was, but I also learned that I don't know as much about what I think I want to do as I thought I did. I have no idea what I want to do with my life after this. I have learned that I will go to great lengths to find ice cream. <laughs> that I'm still growing, not in height. <laughs> I cannot be a doctor because I pass out anytime I see too much blood. The learned that patience. You need patience when you're dealing with any type of work and different type of people. You definitely need patience. I work on my patience. I've learned the pleasure of holding other men's hands. I'm white. I had no idea until everyone told me.